Caroline from carolinevinsel.com here. I am here today to help you make more money from your blog and business. I got some questions from my members and I figured I would share the answers with you. So let's go. My tripwire products match my freebies, but I still don't get sales. What do you recommend to figure out what's wrong? I have, I have a few thoughts. So we're going to use an example that I can think of right off the top of my head because this is my coffee and I've only drank this much of it so far today. Okay, so a lot of times the problem with tripwires from freebies is, or when you have a tripwire from a freebie, a lot of times we are kind of offering something that's identical. So let's just say that the freebie is 10 free pin templates from Canva and the tripwire offer is 20 Canva templates for pins. So the problem with that is like in our minds as the creators, it's like, well, if you wanted the 10, you're going to love the 20. Like, come on, there's 30 for you right there. Like, don't you want that? Well, they probably do. But at the same time, we have to remember this. People who have just signed up for a freebie, if your tripwire is almost identical to that freebie, chances are they're going to look at it and go, didn't I just sign up for that? Am I not getting those free Canva templates? And then you're going to get cranky emails if you don't get people who are like, no, I just got that freebie. Like, I'm not going to pay for something that I get for free, which is oftentimes what people think. But then the next problem is you're going to get people who are like, wait a second, you said that this was free, thinking that you're setting them up for like a bait and switch where you're like, you said it was free, but now it's $9. Like, what is it? Like, and then you get cranky emails from people understandably so because they're thinking that like this freebie is no longer free and that you're charging them for it. So that's a problem. So here's kind of like the double sided problem here, which is either they're thinking that you're doing the bait and switch. If it's too similar, they're thinking that you're doing a bait and switch where you're saying that it was free, but it's like JK, not free. And so they're going to be put off by that. And we never want our people like immediately to be put off. If we're doing something that comes off as like uh, shady, slimy, snake oil salesperson-y, people are going to be put off. And we don't want that to happen. We want our people to have a really positive experience with us right from the get-go. Right from the second that they subscribe to our email list, we want them to have a positive experience from us. And if they're thinking that we're doing like a bait and switch with a tripwire and it's like, but you said that this was free. And now you're telling me that I have to pay for it? No. So that's one problem. But the next problem is kind of similar, which is I already have 10 free Canva pin templates. Why do I need more of them? And so if it's too similar, people don't see the value in taking advantage of your tripwire. Even if it is fantastic, if it's too similar to the freebie that they're getting, that's going to be problematic. So what I like to think of it is, do I have a visual aid? No, 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 no. Don't have a visual aid. This is rare. Fine. I will make one. We'll make a visual aid. This is my visual aid. So here's the thing. When people first come to our email list, obviously for the freebie, we want our tripwire to be this next step up. We want them to say like, oh, so you want the free Canva pin templates fantastic. So the next step up for them would be learning about how to design things on Canva or learning about what makes people click on pins or learning about Pinterest itself. So those are three different things that you could offer as that next step up. You could teach them about graphics. You could teach them about um, design psychology and how pins work, or you could teach them about Pinterest strategy. All of those different things could be your tripwire to get them to step one. Whoops. I had to do that. Sorry, it was bugging me. Um, so if we have our freebie down here, what can we offer them as step one? Because the problem that a lot of, uh, and myself included, this is what I did for my first tripwire too. And it was like, well, this just isn't working. Why isn't this working? Is because my tripwire was kind of keeping them along the same line. It's supposed to be a dotted line, <laughs> but it didn't come out that way. My tripwire was still saying, okay, so you're at step zero. Let's continue down this step zero path with just more stuff for step zero. The people who want to take advantage of your tripwire, who want to get to 
step one, we're going to call this step one. We're going to call this oops, step zero. The people who want to get to step one are going to take advantage of your tripwire. The people who take advantage of your tripwire are going to be ready to ascend the product ladder to go up through all of the different things that you have to offer. And so by saying like, oh, you like these pin templates. How about more pin templates? It's not enough. Think about like infomercials, okay? So we're all familiar with like Billy Mays here, right? And um, what I think of are the, like, what was it called? It was like the spray can of like plastic stuff. And he used it on like the bottom of a, a, a boat with like a screen door and it was covered with it. I can't even remember what it was called. It was like rubber in a can or something like that. I know that it wasn't that. Um, but it was, but wait, there's more. You get two of them, but you also get a book on how to do it. And you also get something that's going to help you learn how to build a boat with this spray in a can or whatever, what it was. But it wasn't just saying you get more of the spray thing in a can. You also get step one, which is going to teach you how to use it. And step two, which is taking it to that next level. And all of those things, it's kind of like that when we're setting up our trip wires. So if you're having a problem with your trip wire converting first, make sure that it's not too close to the um, freebie that you're offering that people will either get confused or get resentful that you're offering it to them. You want to make sure that it is a step up, that it's going to take them through a next level process. So give that a try. And then we can talk about like what you could do next if it still doesn't work after that. And when I say doesn't work, we're talking about like you should probably have like a thousand people go through and see the tripwire before you say it doesn't work. Um, You can't just use it for a week and like five people saw it and nobody bought and suddenly it's the end of the world. No, we want to have a lot of people go through it to see if it's actually going to convert. Um, it's going to take a while, maybe even after a month, um, if you don't necessarily want to wait for like a thousand impressions on something, but don't immediately go right into like three people saw it. Nobody bought. It's the end of the world. No, 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 no. We're going to breathe. <laughs> we're going to breathe and we're going to give it time to see if it, if the changes that we've made on our sales pages or with our trip wires are actually going to have a positive impact. All right. I hope that that helped you so much. And if you liked this video, make sure that you like it. Ask your questions in the comments. Let me know what you think. Make sure that you subscribe for more information and blog related topics to help you make more money from your blog and from your online business. All right, guys, take care. See you next time. Bye.